and I'm back. And the Jeopardy round went pretty well, but the last clue was about, uh, it was called, Why Do I Know This? And it was about Snooky and Wow. And yeah, like, why do I know this? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the double Jeopardy round goes just as well. I did, well, I was five out of six in the uh, Jeopardy round, which was pretty good. I got one, there was, there were some pretty good clues, like good clues for me. Like there was a geography clue, there was Snooky and Wow. And there was uh, the one that I missed. I can't even think of it. Oh, it was a, uh, it was something about precedent, and it was like a Supreme Court case about something. They what what Supreme Court led case uh, guaranteed lawyers to defendants or something like that. I said uh, Miranda. That that's your Miranda rights when you get arrested. So not really about lawyers, uh, but whatever. Let's see. Hopefully, Double Jeopardy goes well. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. Hmm, looks like you didn't finish the clues from earlier today. Mm. To continue from where you left off, just say resume. Or say replay to start from the very first clue. Resume. It's time now for the double Jeopardy round. Let's go. The seventh category is... Citing the president. This 1950s president warned us that we must guard against the military-industrial complex. It was Eisenhower. That's it. It was right on. The next category is foreign films. A father and daughter encounter zombies on high speed rail in 2016's train to this South Korean city. It was Busan. Yes, that's right. It was a good movie. The next category is fictional doctors. Derek Shepard was a doctor on Grey's Anatomy. Jack Shepard was a doctor on this series. Repeat. Again, the category is fictional Jack doctors. Jack Shepard. Derek Shepard was a doctor on Grey's Anatomy. Jack Shepard was a doctor on this series. What is ER? That's not it. The correct response was, what is lost? The 10th category is... Lost? There's a doctor on Lost? A light category. Since 1923, an eternal flame has burned for the tomb of the unknown soldier at the base of this Paris landmark. What is the Arc de Triomphe? Correct. The eleventh category is... Composers. Beethoven's Leonore was reworked into this opera with a one-word title. Repeat. I know this. Again. The category is Leonore. composers. Beethoven's Leonor was reworked into this opera with a one-word title. What is uh, Fidelio? Yes, that's right. The last category is... That's proprietary, ma'am. This word, synonymous with cleaning tissue, is a trademark brand owned by Kimberly Clark. What is Kleenex? Great. Let's see how you did on this set. Way to go! You got 10 correct. You scored in the top 1% of players today. We'll see you tomorrow for more clues. Pretty good. It was a lot better than yesterday. Although I missed silly clues yesterday. Like the, the one, the Mozart one. I was, I was hoping that the uh, classical music or composers one, the clue that we just had, wasn't about Mozart. Considering I blew an easy Mozart clue yesterday. But yeah, uh, they weren't that bad, really. Like, uh, Kimberly Clark, I know that Kimberly Clark makes Kleenex. And uh, The Train to Busan, I'm familiar with that movie. And uh, that Military Industrial Complex, everybody knows that saying, right? Uh, but yeah, I can't really think of the two that... Oh, the two that I missed were a doctor named Shepard in something. I was thinking Shepard was from 24, but then I thought about it in my head. It was Bauer. They were both Jacks, but it was Jack Bauer, I think. So that was a bad guess. That's what I was going to say, but that would have been dumb. Even worse than ER, probably. Although ER was a pretty good guess, because ER has a lot of doctors on it, or fake doctors. Um, and yeah, the other one that I missed in the first round, I can't even think of it offhand, but it was a pretty solid game. Good game. Better than yesterday, for sure. Hopefully both videos make it today. But yeah, thanks for watching.